Previously on the longest days of our lives. Now it's time for one of you to meet your son. Hello, daddies. Hello. I'm now the heir to your family fortune. <gasps> you stabbed me. <gasps> A horrible time that feels like it might last forever. These are the longest days of our lives. Oh, Fontaine, now that Winston is dead, we can finally be together and alone, online, the most private place in the world. I would never say this in front of him, but I'm glad he's dead. Glad who's dead? <gasps> Winston, I thought you were dead. What went wrong? I mean, what happened? Well, that's a long and fascinating story. You see, I... Winston. Winston, you're, you're frozen, buddy. No. Winston, we can't hear, we can't hear you. M maybe try turning your internet off and then on. And by the time I saw the bright light, I realized I was in a 7-Eleven. Hold on. Someone's knocking at my Zoom. Hello? Hello. <gasps> That's right, it's me, the top private investigator here in Cape Bay Harbor, the town where we all live. Oh, yes. Sure, yeah, I that's live there. where we live. We live in the harbor. That's our town. We live in Cape Bay. We always have lived there. I'm here about your son slash nephew, Blake. He... He what? You're, you're frozen. And now he's frozen. Yes, yes, you, you were frozen. No, no, no. He's frozen. Who is frozen? Blake's frozen. The lake is frozen? Blake is frozen. Blake is frozen? Blake's not even on the zoo. Because he's frozen in the lake. So the lake is still frozen? Yes. And so is Blake. Did he try turning his internet off and then on again? No. Listen closely. Blake is frozen inside the lake which is also frozen. So you're saying Blake fell into the lake and then froze in the lake? Yes. <gasps> <gasps> and to think he didn't freeze in the Cape or the Bay or the Harbor. That's correct. He, he froze in a lake. But I just spoke to him yesterday. My God, it, it feels like just yesterday. I, I remember I was, I was wearing my red hat. Blake, my boy, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, going to the lake. And you're going to go for a swim during the cold snap? All right. Sorry, I was, uh, I was lost in a flashback. Look, I know this news about Blake in the lake is tough to take. Trust me, I wish it was fake. But I have his last will and testament here. Oh! I'd like to read it to you now. Uh, <clears throat> Dearest mother, father, and uncle, as you all know, I've recently inherited our family's fortune. In the event that I fall into a lake, however, I bequeath that fortune back to one of you. And the one I bequeath it to is... You're frozen again. Who gets the money? I think it's pretty clear he's about to say my name. No. He's about to say my name. He's going to say mine. 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 Ah. 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 My name. My name better be on that will, or else I push Blake into the lake for no reason. <gasps> I heard what you said. But I was only pretending to be frozen. <gasps> and the will stipulates that. If Winston pushed me into the lake, then the person who gets the money is the orphanage. Winston, your hair! 
Join us next week on the longest days of our lives. Uh, 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 so on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.